Okay, so it's finally arrived, my new Doctor. I've been waiting for this for two, well, just over two weeks. Uh, the watch uh, had to be ordered, uh, they didn't have it in stock, so it came from Switzerland, directly from Doxa. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to to getting it open and uh, having a look at the watch. So this is what comes inside, so this is a manual. So I think it's gonna be just a generic, basic manual. So it's gonna talk about the watch itself and the history about uh, Doxa and so on. So let's get the watch open. Oh, that's a bit stiff. Now, I saw other Doxas. I think they are limited edition ones where they come sort of with that sort of a round uh, tube thing, which I, 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 I don't know. Do I like that one? This is going to be quite a good travel case. So here is the watch. So it's the Blue Caribbean. That's the one I got. And uh, it comes on the rubber strap. So I got it on the rubber strap. Um... Now, Aaron, who is uh, a fellow YouTuber, he's bought the Professional, which is the orange version of this, but his strap was a lot longer. So I'm not sure if the American version is longer. Perhaps there's some reason why they think the Americans may need a longer strap. I don't know. Uh, so that's the watch, but it's plenty for me, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, if I'm gonna wear it on this strap or not. I may or may not because there are reasons for that. Um, so let's see what else is in here. So you've got this. I'm not quite sure what that's going to be for. I haven't seen that in a watch before. And you've got the the buckle. Now this is the deployant buckle. Now that's one of the reasons um, I didn't go for the um, the beads of rice one. I don't like. Uh, stainless steel straps. Um, if I'd got the stainless steel strap, I probably would have changed it anyway. So I'm, I'm like I said, I'm a bit, I'm in, a, I'm in an hour about uh, what I should do with this strap, whether or not I should wear it on this strap or not. Because once you've cut it, that's it, it's done. Um, and these straps are really expensive. You buy these from Doxa, um, and I've not really seen any other companies making straps for Doxa. So um i'll uh, i'll see how i go with the with the strap so this is the dive extension oh no sorry the drive extensions on this side it's quite hard to see so that you can extend it which is quite a good thing um that's one of the things i liked about the rubber uh because i can adjust it with these because once you've cut it that's it you're done so you've got to make sure it's absolutely right and then you can sort of adjust it up and down through this if you wanted to. Um, yeah, that's what I like about that. And what else is in here? I think that's everything. Oh, there's some spring bars. That'll be for the uh, buckle. I don't know what this, this is for. It's just a, a sponge. Probably something to do with... Um, cutting the, uh, the strap. So actually I've never seen anyone make a video about cutting the strap, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, and that's everything, so let's take a closer look at the watch itself. Uh, these little plastic bits, okay, that's good. Came off easy. And there we have the watch. So mine is the Caribbean Blue. I like the blue. Uh, I'll go into more detail of why I picked the blue and um, why I picked this watch particularly. Uh, in the full review, this is just clearly a, just an unboxing so I can show you what the watch looks like. Uh, so far, I'm happy with it. Um, so this is the 300T. Now, it is quite a bit confusing um, when you look at these because there's the 300T, which is this one, then there's the 300, which looks very similar, but, and is almost the same, but there, there are some subtle changes from this to that one. And I'll go into the more uh, detail of why I picked this one and didn't pick the 300 uh, in the in the full review video, but yeah, I'm I'm happy with the watch so far. I like the blue. I do like the blue. I do really like the blue a lot, uh, better than the um, uh, the black. So I was originally gonna be getting the same as Aaron, the orange one, uh, but again, I'll go into more detail in the uh, the final video uh, in a few weeks' time. But yeah, and it actually it's. It's like my Turtle, uh, the Seiko Turtle. Uh, it, the watch looks bigger than it is. So this is a 42 mil. I think my Turtle is a 44 mil, but because it's got very short lugs and you have this cushion type uh, case to it, 
so the sides do uh, protrude a lot of it. I, I mean, actually, that's quite a lot. They do come out a lot. Um, so hopefully it's going to be very comfortable to wear. Um, I mean, I'm gripping it quite tightly at the bottom, and that's how I would wear it anyway. And the crown's not too bad. It's not digging in um, into my wrist. See, that's why I like the turtle, because the crown is here, so it doesn't dig into my wrist. Uh, and that's why I have problems. So I wear my watches really tight um, to my wrist. I don't like them uh, flaying around uh, on my wrist. But yeah, so far, very happy. And uh, stay tuned for the rest of the review in a few weeks' time.